It's not a category in which you aspire to be number one. Utah leads the nation in painkiller abuse. Coco Warner takes a closer look at a disturbing trend. Does it surprise you that Utah tops the nation in prescription drug abuse? A study recently released by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services found that 6.5% of Utahns use drugs yeah. without a doctor's orders. And the group most likely to abuse painkillers? People under the age of 25. 7.88% are 12 to 17, 13.49 are 18 to 25, and just 4.2% are over 25. If you have extra prescription drugs, you shouldn't share them with anyone else or leave them where um, someone could take them without your knowledge. Because when we are seeing these higher numbers of recreational use of prescription drugs, especially among younger people, I mean, that's probably where they're getting them. And when they're getting them, many are dying from them. Utah has seen a large increase in fatal prescription drug overdoses. According to the health department, 265 Utahns died from prescription drug overdose last year. That number is twice as high as deaths caused from illegal drugs. Sometimes people take their medicine inappropriately. You know, maybe they take too many or they think it's not working and so they take another one. And with these powerful prescription painkillers, that's a dangerous thing to do. If the community begins to appreciate the seriousness of utilizing these medications in ways in which they're not intended, then I think we can eliminate the problem. And how can you help eliminate the problem? Only take drugs prescribed to you by your doctor and make sure that no one else has access to them. In Salt Lake City, I'm Coco Warner for Eyewitness News. Dr. Lynn Webster has launched a campaign to combat prescription drug overdoses. He calls it Zero Deaths, and we have a link to it on our website.